Good morning. It is day 50 million of our shelter in place orders. Um, I live in Texas, so technically we can go out to some places now, but um, most people are not doing that because it doesn't seem safe. So um, my kids are still home from school. My wife is still working from home. Um, and I am still going to make YouTube videos from my car because it's the only quiet place I can find. I hope all is well. Also, my hair is returning to its natural state. It's kind of like when there's been a zombie apocalypse and, you know, the grass begins to grow over the buildings. Um, that's what's happening with my hair. So please enjoy whatever this is. All right, the real reason I'm here today is to give you a sneak peek of Ben B and the Teacher Griefer, um, which is a new book that I have written and it's coming out in September. Um, if you are familiar with this YouTube channel, you might be like, but wait, K.A. Holt, you have already introduced us to this book and you are right. But what I'm going to do now is really kind of delve into each of the characters because this is one of these books that's told in multiple points of view. Um, we get four points of view in um, Ben B and the Teacher Griefer. Obviously, Ben B is one of the characters, but there's some more too. So in this uh, video, what I'm going to do is uh, read to you the summary of the book. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit uh, about how it's laid out, and I'm going to read just a smidge of Ben B. Um, hit one of his points of view and then in the next uh, video I will introduce you to Ben Y who is another character and Ben Y will be getting her own book next year um, and then I will introduce you to Jordan who will be getting his own book the year after that and to Javier who will be getting a book after that um, so here we go I'm just going to read to you the back while I hold this up right here. And also, I would like to mention this is an advanced copy, obviously, because the book isn't out until September. Um, so there have been some edits and changes made um, to this book. So the stuff that I read um, may be changed just a smidge. Um, and definitely there are parts of the book that have been changed when the hardcover comes out. So just so you know. Um, and also thank you to Chronicle Books for uh, letting me give you these sneak peeks. Um, because Chronicle Books is awesome and they know that while we're all sheltering in place it's you know hard to get books sometimes especially advanced copies when there aren't any conferences and things so I'm gonna give you this sneak peek my hair is just gonna do this thing all right <laughs> so this is the first book in a new series it says right here a new series from K.A. Holt um, the series is called The Kids Under the Stairs um, ben Bellows failed the language arts section of the Florida State Test. Now he and three classmates are stuck in a summer school class. But these kids aren't dumb. They're divergent thinkers. As their summer school teacher tells them, they simply approach things in a different way than traditional school demands. Soon they win over Ms. J with their passion for sandbox, a Minecraft type game. The kids make a deal with Ms. J. Every minute they spend reading aloud equals one minute they get to play sandbox in class. But when the administration finds out about this unorthodox method of teaching, Ben B and his buds have to band together to save their teacher's job and their own academic future. With a lovable cast of characters and four different perspectives, this heartwarming laugh out loud novel in verse is an honest, authentic story about friendship, school, and video games that celebrates different types of intelligence and shows how every kid deserves to become their own divergent self. Um, all right, so I got the idea from this book from last summer when um, one of my own children refused to uh, stop playing video games to read any books or do anything, and I was like, hey, listen, I'm going to make a deal with you. Um you can teach me how to play your favorite video games as long as you read, right? Read for 30 minutes and I will play, uh, I can't even remember what it's called, Undertale? I will play this with you for 30 minutes. Read for 30 minutes, I will play Fortnite with you for 30 minutes. And so uh, that's what we did all summer. And I learned how to play um, video games and uh, he learned how reading books can be fun. Doesn't have to be fun. Sometimes the stories are good, sometimes they're not. It's okay. We had fun doing it. All right, so here's Ben B. What happens when you um, open this book is that you will see um, 
these cool little exit level, um, these are like exam grades from the standardized tests that the kids took um, in Florida. The, in the book, it's called the uh, Florida Rigorous Academic Assessment. Um, and so this is Benjamin Bellows' assessment right here and the grades that he got. And this is a note from a teacher. Uh, highly intelligent, works hard, lacks focus, possible dysgraphia, why no 504. So these are notes about Ben. And you can see that he didn't do so well um, on the writing assessment. He didn't pass. So it has down here semester comments, summer school rec remediation, retake language arts assessment. So this is Ben's information. I mean, you don't have to know all of that, but it's helpful to start. Um, all right. And so the first section of this book is called Save Your Server. Um, and you'll find out why soon. Um, all right. So this is from, so there's like, there's this book within a book that's called Save Your Server, Save Yourself. Um, and, uh, this is one of the first pages of Save Your Server, Save Yourself. So I'm not going to read this to you right now because this part, um, is something that you will want to come back to as you read the book. Um, but here it is. And you can see the kids have written all in it. It's been defaced. Those are the best books, huh? All right. So here's a Ben B section. His name is Ben B for Benjamin Bellows, but when he plays Sandbox, his avatar name is Ben B, and he looks like that. Okay. Um, ben B's sections are written in free verse, which if you are familiar with my other books, um, many of them are also written in free verse. Um, basically, this is poetry that doesn't rhyme. Um, I use words, um, I use the the line breaks, I use um, the spacing of the words, I use the white space on the page to kind of help create the character and to help guide my readers. Um, I leave out a lot of big details because I want my readers to be able to fill that in and because I'm writing poetry I'm using metaphor and simile and imagery and all those things to give you an idea of how uh, ben is feeling and thinking so that that way hopefully you'll be able to empathize with him a little more because you might have similar feelings about things um so that's why this is free verse um and you'll notice that it's in two columns because we did not want this book to be seven hundred thousand pages long <laughs> okay i'm gonna read a tiny little bit of ben b's character all right i don't like to read there i said it books have too many words it takes forever to read a page. It takes at least infinity to read a chapter. This is why I have never and will never finish reading a book. It's not that I hate words. I don't. It's not that I hate stories. I don't. It's not even that I hate books. I don't. It's just, I don't like to read. It's hard to read. When you're in first grade, pretty much everyone has a hard time reading. In second grade, lots of kids still have a hard time. But then, in third, fourth, fifth, sixth, the other kids, they figure it out. And when you don't, it's just, uh, You know what's not, uh, You know what's, you know what always makes sense? And when it doesn't, is actually fun to figure out? You know what has zero words? You know what's the opposite of boring? Sandbox. With every minute I can spare, I build universes. I lead alliances. I save the world. Me, I do that without reading a word. The thing is, unlike other things, you can't fail at Sandbox. It's a fail-free zone. Mistakes become inventions. Accidents become lessons. You don't just imagine the impossible. You make it happen. You bring it to life. So tell me this. If I spend every day bringing the impossible to life then why can't I figure out how to pass the dang fart? What's the fart? Florida Rigorous Academic Assessment Test. Everyone calls it the fart, even though, even I know, that's not how you spell fart. This class, you know who we are? We're the fart failures. Dang, son, you have fart failure again? Only cure for that is summer school. If you work hard, can you work hard? How did I even fail the fart to begin with? We spent so many days last year practicing, studying, practicing more, filling the bubbles carefully, perfectly. No marks out of line. But something was out of line. My brain, I guess. 
because even after all that, I still failed it. My sharp pencil, a torpedo, sinking that test to the bottom of all the other tests, drowning in so many bubbles. At least I'm not drowning all alone. Jordan J, Javier, Ben Y, Ben B, that's me. Ms. Jackson, summer school. Language arts, room 113. All working, all summer, to keep our heads above this bubbly fart water. Okay, that is all I'm going to say for today for Ben B. Um, oh, no, I have one more thing to say. Um, I set this book in Florida because when I was a kid, that's where I went to school. Um, I went to school there until the middle of eighth grade. So most of my other books are pretty much set in Texas. Um, so I wanted to put one in Florida. Um, because that's where I lived when I was a littler kid. Um, okay, I'm going to stop now and, um, we'll jump in and a little bit so that you can meet Ben Y.